Welcome to the Fiji Symposium 2019 here in Cairo, in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today, Mr. Yang He, who is uh, uh, from the China Academy of Information and Communication Technologies, and he's the project uh, head for Fiji. Uh, Yang, welcome to the studio. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, the cooperation between financial and ICT regulatory authorities. We know that this is crucial for the digital inclusive uh, finance. And I wondered if uh, China has some experience in this field, uh, which is available uh, that we could basically talk about for, you know, for, for, for other countries in the world. Okay, thank you, Christian. Um, you know, the cooperation between the ICT and the financial is very important uh, in the uh, Fiji. And uh, the Chinese ICT and the financial regulatory uh, are far aware of the importance of their cooperation. Um, for example, we, uh, the Ministry of uh, the Ministry of Industry of Information Technology, the MIT, just the ICT regulatory in China, have signed an uh, uh, agreement with the and China Securities uh, Recycle uh, Chameleon, um, just a uh, financial regulatory, and uh, we cooperate with each other to build a uh, fintech industry alliance. And their aim is uh, to build a bridge between the uh, ICT and the financial, and uh, help the uh, ICT companies and the uh, financial enterprise can communicate with each other. Uh, another way, we often gave some uh, or launched some point uh, programs to help the ICT and the financial company to uh, to support them to compete with each other. Often, they maybe gave some special policy in some important uh, field to help the uh, company have some uh, innovation and exploration. Yeah, uh, just uh, yes. And so uh, when uh, China develops digital inclusive finance, how do you choose the, the, the pilot areas? Yeah, um, you know, uh, China is very big and uh, there are different places have, the, have its uh, characteristics. So when we, um, when we, um, when we take the um, Fiji project, we often uh, we often put our city into two categories. One is the uh, mm, one is the uh, leading cities. Our cities uh, such as uh, uh, Beijing, Shanghai, just the rest. Uh, these cities uh, is uh, uh, have a, have the good good uh, um, information infrastructure and uh, uh, the most almost everyone can enjoy the um, digital service. So. Uh, the company in these cities have many successful um, innovation and exploration. So when we do their project, we uh, take their experience, their, secu their successful experience to the um, poor cities. I mean, the poor cities is uh, some in the western of China. Um, these cities have low enough information infrastructure, and uh, the um, financial stress is far from um, their people. So. Uh, uh, however, I think uh, it's, uh, it, it means uh, some big space to develop uh, DFI and uh, also the Fiji is a good chance for them. Uh, um, <coughs> for example, we choose a point place in Hebei province, just named uh, Yuxian. And uh, the Yuxian is famous for uh, the crafts of China characteristics. So, we cooperate with uh, Jindong and uh, help the people to share their crafts in, on their land, on the internet, by the internet. And the people can, the customer can um, booking and uh, um, payment on land. Also, the people in Yuxian can um, apply their internet loan um, based on their sales and to expand their um, in production. Yeah. And uh, China's been making great strides in digital uh, financial inclusion. I wanted to ask you, what are the unique advantages that China has in the development of digital inclusive finance? And perhaps it, you could, have you got any advice that you could give other countries uh, in the world? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, I think uh, the important uh, advantage in China is uh, uh, good uh, um, infrastructure of information. Yeah, I can give you some data. In my presentation, just uh, last day, I, I gave up. I gave up. Uh, it's that um, China have laid a great foundation on information infrastructure, including internet, broadband, and um, four generation. Until uh, like um, 2018, um, Chinese internet users have arrived 1800, 166 million, and the fixed broadband bond domestic consumers which is uh, 338, 204 million. So uh, when uh, China's mobile phones have reached 155 million with a penetration rate of 112%. So uh, I think when our countries want to have some uh, good uh, uh, experience from China, yeah, the important thing is to build a good uh, information infrastructure. Yeah. Thank finally, you. finally, I'd like to ask you just what do you think is the most important part of this initiative? What, what's the, the, the key element that makes this initiative different from others? Yeah. Um, um, in my opinion, I think uh, uh, the information infrastructure should be, uh, should be um, constructed by the government and uh, their operation. Uh, so, uh, because in China, the government uh, gave the, the most uh, support to uh, make uh, some places, to, to, uh, to make uh, the, uh, the remote places to have the uh, uh, information structure and uh, in a very cheap uh, price. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so mm. accessibility and and looking after the remote remote areas uh, as well, you think is is, is uh, certainly something that people should be focusing on. Yeah, in government yeah, yeah, particularly. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we hope to catch up with you again at the next one. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.